M0 FXP Hamtech, welcome back to my videos on the DJI Neo and today we're looking at my iPhone to see if we can connect this up easily. Now I have got the DJI Avata which I absolutely love, I've got the RC2 which does work with the DJI Neo, you can use your smartphone to control this, you can also use the RC Motion 3, Goggles 3 and, and the remote control but today we're just going to go to the App Store and we're going to put in DJI. So DJI Fly and then we're going to download we will need to to log in i'm doing this live so you know i want you to see me doing it from scratch and we it's the dji uh, neo is about 50 percent charged let's just press the the button there. it actually it's only got one light from of charge but that should be enough just to get it connected it does have inbuilt storage. We can charge it up with our USB-C. This is the power on off, which you press once, then hold, and then you've got your different flight modes here. You literally just push it as it cycles through. You choose the one you want and hold it down. It's, it's that easy, 135 gram uh, droid. It can shoot in 4K. I mean, it's not a toy, but this, for me, I feel that this is so safe with your children. They can pick it up. You're not, it, they're not going to hurt their fingers on this. It's got a cage from the top and the bottom. I've seen many videos. This thing gets banged around, chucked around. It doesn't break generally. Okay, so we've got the app there. Let's open that and let it do its thing. I'll log in. So we get a bit of advertising there. We'll skip that. Agree to the terms. And allow. You do need to turn on your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth and location which we shall do now, agree, allow, I'm allowing everything, allow, allow, turning all this on, allow full access, okay, join, and then I'm going to log in now, okay, I'm agreeing to everything, connection guide, DJ Neo, and then we, you know, this is where you can select which controller you're going to use. I'm going to go connect my via mobile device, allow. Search for device, so we might need to turn it on now. So one press, then hold. Like so. You hear it there. And uh, yes, I've taken the, the camera cover off flashing away I got it on charge actually uh, let it keep searching and then that pops up tap it connecting press and hold power button on the flight for three seconds so the power one is the one nearest the USB three seconds held and then join and we should see an image I'll turn this round a bit so you can Got a better image whilst it tries to connect. Probably see something. It's trying. There you are. Not sure what all that means, but I'm going to go OK. And if it doesn't work the first time, just do it again. Because you go around in circles until it. You will get a connection and the camera will appear. Oh, I know what I saw this in a video earlier. It doesn't really like the USB connected. So I've just disconnected that. I'll just make sure it's on. You can see the lights there flashing away and we're in and you just got to select everything got it and now we can actually if we wanted to we can actually start flying not sure how much charge is there but you can see how the image i'll just show you my junk room there and 
my ugly mug and then this is my ham radio room looking out the window so you can see now if I want to fly I just go start um, and, and it'll it'll do you know you choose the different you can follow droney circle rocket spotlight direction track I tend to do the one that's follow and then I think you have to hold and press I just see if I can just quickly do it before the battery is flat I just settings there album so you look at videos and photos and there's some on there already so it's, it's you know as your controls is excellent and you could do manual actually if we do manual control and then let's do it that way so we do take off oh, well, i might not have enough charge it's flashing away, but that's what you would do, and then you get the the full controls there. But it's not going to give them to me, is it? Critical low battery look there. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you setting it up on the iPhone, and and yeah, it works fine. Bye. For